Portuguese people are an ethnic group indigenous to the country of Portugal, in the west of the Iberian Peninsula of southwestern Europe. Their language is Portuguese, and their predominant religion is Christianity, mainly Roman Catholicism. Historically, the Portuguese descend from the pre-Celtic, Proto-Celtic and Celtic peoples who inhabited the Iberian Peninsula such as the Celtici, Lusitanians and the Gallici forming the core identity of the country, followed by the Italics, the Romans. Other major segments include the Subi, the Buri and the Visigoths. Due to the large historical extent of the Portuguese Empire and the colonization of territories in Asia, Africa and the Americas, as well as historical and recent emigration, Portuguese communities can be found in many diverse regions around the globe, and a large Portuguese diaspora exists. Portuguese people were a key factor to the age of exploration, discovering several unknown lands to the Europeans in Americas, Africa, Asia and Oceania. Ancestry Historical origins The Portuguese are a southwestern European population, with origins predominantly from southern and western Europe. The earliest modern humans inhabiting Portugal are believed to have been Paleolithic peoples that may have arrived in the Iberian Peninsula as early as 35,000 to 40,000 years ago. Current interpretation of Y-chromosome and mtDNA data suggests that modern-day Portuguese trace a significant amount of these lineages to the Paleolithic peoples who began settling the European continent between the end of the last glaciation around 45,000 years ago. Northern Iberia is believed to have been a major Ice Age refuge from which Paleolithic humans later colonized Europe. Migrations from what is now northern Iberia during the Paleolithic and Mesolithic links modern Iberians to the populations of much of Western Europe and particularly the British Isles and Atlantic Europe. Recent books published by geneticists Brian Sykes, Stephen Oppenheimer and Spencer Wells have argued the large Paleolithic and Mesolithic Iberian influence in the modern-day Irish. Welsh and Scottish gene pool as well as parts of the English. Indeed, Y-chromosome haplogroup R1b is the most common haplogroup in practically all of the Iberian Peninsula and Western Europe. Within the R1b haplogroup there are modal haplotypes. One of the best characterized of these haplotypes is the Atlantic modal haplotype. This haplotype reaches the highest frequencies in the Iberian Peninsula and in the British Isles. In Portugal it reckons generally 65% in the south summing 87% northwards, and in some regions 96%. The Neolithic colonization of Europe from Western Asia and the Middle East beginning around 10,000 years ago reached Iberia, as most of the rest of the continent although, according to the Demic Diffusion Model, its impact was most in the southern and eastern regions of the European continent. Starting in the 3rd millennium BC as well as in the Bronze Age, the first wave of migrations into Iberia of speakers of Indo-European languages occurred. These were later followed by others that can be identified as Celts. Urban cultures eventually developed in southeastern Iberia, such as Tartessus. Influenced by the Phoenician colonization of coastal Mediterranean Iberia, which later shifted to Greek colonization, to note that there is very little or no evidence of settlements in Portugal by either Greeks or Phoenicians unlike it is sometimes stated. These two processes defined Iberia's and Portugal's cultural landscape, continental in the northwest and Mediterranean towards the southeast. As historian José Matoso describes it, given the origins from Paleolithic and Neolithic settlers as well as Indo-European migrations, one can say that the Portuguese ethnic origin is mainly a mixture of pre-Roman, pre-Indo-Europeans, and pre-Celtics or para-Celts such as the Lusitanians of Lusitania, and Celtic peoples such as Caelesians or Galici of Galaesia, the Celtici and the Sinetus of the Alentejo and the Algalve. 
The Romans were also an important influence on Portuguese culture. The Portuguese language derives from Latin. Other minor influences included the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, the Vandals and the Sarmatian Alans, and the Visigoths and Subi, Sakalabar, who also settled in what is today Portuguese territory. The ancestry of modern Portuguese has been influenced by the many people which have passed on its territory throughout history. Overall, these people include the pre-Roman people of the Iberian Peninsula, and in some cases Romans, Vandals, Subi and Buri, Visigoths, Vikings, Alans and Sakalabar. Settlers also came from Burgundy and Flanders settling in mainland Portugal and later in the archipelagos of Azores and Madeira. For the Y chromosome and mtDNA lineages of the Portuguese and other peoples see this map and this one. Portuguese have also maintained a certain degree of ethnic and cultural specific characteristics ratio with the Basques since ancient times. The results of the present HLA study in Portuguese population show that they have features in common with Basques and some Spaniards from Madrid. A high frequency of the HLA haplotypes A29B44DR7 and A1B8DR3 are found as common characteristics. Portuguese and Basques do not show the Mediterranean A33B14DR1 haplotype, confirming a lower admixture with Mediterraneans. The Portuguese have a characteristic unique among world populations. A high frequency of HLA A25B18DR15 and A26B38DR13, which may reflect a still detectable founder effect coming from ancient Portuguese, i.e., Estraminus and Sinetis. Lusitanians The Lusitanians were an Indo-European-speaking people living in the western Iberian peninsula long before it became the Roman province of Lusitania. They spoke the Lusitanian language, of which only a few short written fragments survive. Most Portuguese consider the Lusitanians as their ancestors, although the northern regions identify more with the Galaretians. It has been hypothesized that the Lusitanians may have originated in the Alps and settled in the region in the 6th century BC. Some modern scholars consider them to be indigenous and initially dominated by the Celts, before gaining full independence from them. The archaeologist Scarlett Lambrino proposed that they were originally a tribal Celtic group, related to the Lusanese. The first area settled by the Lusitanians was probably the Douro Valley and the region of Bayera Alta, then they moved south, and expanded on both sides of the Targus River, before being conquered by the Romans. The original Roman province of Lusitania was extended north of the areas occupied by the Lusitanians to include the territories of Asturias and Galaretia, but these were soon ceded to the jurisdiction of the Provencia Tarraconensis in the north, while the south remained the Provencia Lusitania a Vetans. After this, Lusitania's northern border was along the Douro River, while its eastern border passed through Salmantica and Caesarea Obregar to the Annus River. Pre-Roman groups The Lusitanians were a single large tribe that lived between the rivers Douro and Targus. As the Lusitanians fought fiercely against the Romans for independence, the name Lusitania was adopted by the Gallici, tribes living north of the Douro, and other closely surrounding tribes, eventually spreading as a label to all the nearby peoples fighting Roman rule in the west of Iberia. It was for this reason that the Romans came to name their original province in the area that initially covered the entire western side of the Iberian Peninsula, Lusitania. Tribes, often known by their Latin names, living in the area of modern Portugal, prior to Roman rule, Bardali, living in the Setúbal Peninsula, Braucari, living between the rivers Tamega and Cavado, in the area of the modern city of Braga, Calarici living along and north of the Douro, Celtici, Celts living in Alentejo, Coalerni, living in the mountains between the rivers Tua and Sabre, 
Sinetus or Connie, living in the Algarve in the south of Alentejo, Aquaezi, living in the most mountainous region of modern Portugal, Grovii, a mysterious tribe living in the Minho Valley, Interamisi, living in Trazos Montes and in the border areas with Galicia and Leon. Luni, living between the rivers Lima and Minho. Luanqui, living between the rivers Tamega and Tua. Lusitani, being the most numerous and dominant of the whole region comprising most of Portugal. Limici, living in the swamps of the river Lima, on the border between Portugal and Galicia. Narbasi, living in the north of modern Portugal and nearby area of southern Galicia. Namathati, living north of the Douro Valley in the area of Mondam. Pizuri, a dependent tribe of the Lusitanians, living between the rivers Douro and Vuga. Quakerni, living in the mountains at the mouths of rivers Cavado and Tamega. Subi, living between the rivers Cavado and Lima. Tamagani, from the area of Chavez, near the river Tamega. Tapali, another dependent tribe of the Lusitanians, living north of the river Targis, on the border between modern Portugal and Spain. Terjuli, in the east of Alentejo. Terjuli Veteris, the ancient Terjuli, living south of the estuary of the river Douro. Terdalora Mopida, Terjuli living in the Portuguese region of Estamadura. Turodi, living in Trazos Montes and bordering areas of Galicia. Betins, living in the eastern border areas of Portugal, and in Spanish provinces of Avila and Salamanca, as well as parts of Zamora, Toledo and Caceres. Zoe, living in the mountains of Serradano Guayra, Sanabria and Calabria, up to the mountains of Mogaduro in northern Portugal and adjacent areas of Galicia. Romanization Since 193 BC, the Lusitanians had been fighting the Romans. They defended themselves bravely for years, causing the Roman invaders serious defeats. In 150 BC, they were defeated by Praetor Servius Galba. Springing a clever trap, he killed 9,000 Lusitanians and later sold 20,000 more as slaves in Gaul. Three years later, Viriathus became the leader of the Lusitanians and severely damaged the Roman rule in Lusitania and beyond. In 139 BC Viriathus was betrayed and killed in his sleep by his companions, Audax, Ditalcus and Minurus, bribed by Marcus Popelius Lanes. However, when Audax, Ditalcus and Minurus returned to receive their reward by the Romans, the consul Servilius Caiapia ordered their execution, declaring, Rome does not pay traitors. After Viriathus a rule, the Lusitanians became largely Romanized, adopting Roman culture and language. The Lusitanian cities, in a manner similar to those of the rest of the Roman Iberian Peninsula, eventually gained the status of citizens of Rome. The Portuguese language itself is a local evolution of the Roman language, Latin, general traits. Modern Portuguese are an Iberian ethnic group and their ancestry is very similar to other Atlantic, a Western and Southern European peoples particularly Spain and to a lesser degree France and certain regions of Italy, with whom they share ancestry and have cultural proximities to. It is largely consistent with the geographical position of the western part of the Iberian Peninsula, located on the extreme southwest of continental Europe, as there are clear connections with southern, western and northwestern Europe, as well as parts of the western Mediterranean. Dark to medium brown hair and brown and hazel eyes predominate in a majority of Portuguese people. However, light brown and blonde hair and blue and green eyes are also found frequently. Chestnut and auburn colored hair types occur generally. Legitimate black hair, non-espresso brown, can be found, but it is not very common. Light, true red hair is seen on occasion. Well-designed pigmentation field studies by Tamanini, Korea and others recorded national average fair hair frequencies of between 15 and 21 percent. True red hair amounts to approximately 3 percent. However, there are higher percentages of individuals with auburn and dark red-brown shades. 
Light eyes run between 19% and 30% according to recently published pigmentation maps of Europe. A recent study by Candila Real, comparing pigmentation levels between the Portuguese and three other ethnically indigenous European national groups, the Irish, the Polish and the Italians, concluded that, in parts of the body not exposed to the sun, the Irish were in the lightest end of the spectrum, followed by the Portuguese, Poles and Italians, with the latter being darkest. In terms of hair color, the Portuguese averaged lighter hair than Italians and darker than Irish and Poles. The Portuguese exhibited significantly lower frequencies in lighter eye shades in comparison to the Irish and Polish, and marginally less, compared to Italians. Demography Demographics of Portugal There are around 10 million native Portuguese in Portugal, out of a total population of 10.75 million. Native minority languages in Portugal A small minority of about 15,000 speak the Mirandese language. Close to Leonese in the municipalities of Miranda do Douro, Vimioso and Mogadouro. All of the speakers are bilingual with Portuguese. An even smaller minority of no more than 2,000 people speak Baran Quenho, a dialect of Portuguese heavily influenced by extreme Aduran, spoken in the Portuguese town of Barrancos. Ethnic minorities in Portugal People from the former colonies have been migrating to Portugal for centuries. African slaves were so numerous in Portugal that by 1505 10% of Lisbon was made up of sub-Saharan Africans and 15% of the labor force in rural areas was African. It has been estimated that between 1400 and 1640, about 350 to 400,000 black African slaves were introduced in Portugal and Spain and assimilated in the local Genopole. More recently, a great number of Slavs, especially Ukrainians, Moldovans, Romanians and Russians, keep migrating to Portugal. There is also a Chinese minority. In addition, there is a small minority gypsies of about 40,000 people, Muslims about 34,000 people and an even smaller minority of Jews of about 5,000 people. Portuguese diaspora in the whole world There are easily more than 100 million people with recognizable Portuguese ancestors. Due to the colonial expansion and worldwide immigration of Portuguese from the 16th century onwards to India, the Americas, Macau, East Timor, Malaysia, Indonesia and Africa, between 1886 and 1966, Portugal lost to emigration more than any West European country except Ireland. From the middle of the 19th century to the late 1950s, Nearly 2 million Portuguese left Europe to live mainly in Brazil and with significant numbers to the United States. About 40 million Brazilians have relatively recent Portuguese background due to massive immigration in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. About 1.2 million Brazilian citizens are native Portuguese. Significant verified Portuguese minorities exist in Portuguese Sephardic Jews are also in Israel, the Netherlands, the United States, France, Venezuela, Brazil and Turkey. In Brazil many of the colonists were also originally Sephardic Jews, who, converted, were known as New Christians. In the United States, there are Portuguese communities in New Jersey, the New England states, and California. In the Pacific, Hawaii has a sizable Portuguese element that goes back 150 years. Australia and New Zealand also have Portuguese communities. Canada, particularly Ontario, Quebec and British Columbia, has developed a significant Portuguese community since 1940. Argentina and Uruguay had Portuguese immigration in the early 20th century. So has Chile where an estimated 50,000 descendants live, as the country's maritime industries attracted a small number of Portuguese as well. Portuguese fishermen, farmers and laborers dispersed across the Caribbean, especially Bermuda, Guyana, Trinidad, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and the island of Barbados where there is high influence from the Portuguese community.
In the early 20th century the Portuguese government encouraged white emigration to Angola and Mozambique, and by the 1970s, there were up to one million Portuguese settlers living in their overseas African provinces. An estimated 800,000 Portuguese returned to Portugal as the country's African possessions gained independence in 1975. After the Carnation Revolution, while others moved to Brazil and south to South Africa, as a result, there are Portuguese-influenced people with their own culture and Portuguese-based dialects in parts of the world other than former Portuguese colonies, most notably in Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia, Barbados, Jamaica, Aruba, Curaçao, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Equatorial Guinea and Sri Lanka. In 1989 some 4 million Portuguese were living abroad, mainly in France, Germany, Brazil, the United Kingdom, South Africa, Canada, Venezuela, and the United States. Portuguese constitute 13% of the population of Luxembourg. In 2006 there were estimates to be over half a million people of Portuguese origin in the United Kingdom. This is considerably larger than the around 88,000 Portuguese-born people alone residing in the country in 2009, in areas such as Thetford and the Crown Dependencies of Jersey and Guernsey. The Portuguese form the largest ethnic minority groups at 30% of the population, 20% and 3% respectively. The British capital London is home to the largest number of Portuguese people in the UK, with the majority being found in the boroughs of Kensington and Chelsea, Lambeth and Westminster.